Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make these LED acrylic engraving designs. It can be used as an exquisite way to display something on your desk. You can display inspirational and motivational quotes, illusions, any memorable pictures or any other image which you can use to light up your life. To start off, you would need to engrave the image on this acrylic sheet. For that, the 3D printer needs to be converted into an engraving machine. I am using a 775 motor and I have made the shaft sharp so that it can engrave. The motor is connected to a buck converter which can vary the speed of the motor which is connected to the 3D printer's power supply. So this power supply can power both the motor and the 3D printer at the same time. I have designed and 3D printed this motor bracket which will hold on to the motor and attach to the 3D printer. The STL file for 3D printing this bracket is in the video description. Removing the hot end from the 3D printer. Attaching the bracket. And then the motor. After attaching the motor, keep an acrylic sheet and adjust the z-axis end stop limit switch. The acrylic sheet which I am using has a thickness of 2.5 mm and it has the size of an A5 sheet paper. After you are done converting the 3D printer into an engraving machine, open the Inkscape app and then document properties. In this change the size to A5. this one so then the size would have changed then import the image which you want to engrave after you import the image resize it and then use the trace bitmap brightness cutoff so that you'll get a vector image. To make it as an outline, select the no color using shift press black. So now only the outline would be appeared. Then you can save it as an SVG file. Then I inserted the SVG image into Fusion 360. After that, extrude the sketch to 0.1 mm. After this, export it as an STL file. Import the STL file into Cura slicing software and adjust the size accordingly. Then change the settings which will be for engraving. So these are the settings for engraving on an acrylic sheet and then slice it so it would take approximately 33 minutes to do this and then you can send this g-code to the 3d printer which will engrave it for you. After engraving it should look something like this, then clean off the dust with a cloth and now we will see how to design and print the base for this. This is the design for the base, 
uh, this part will hold the acrylic part and this is the cover for the electronics which will be placed inside here which will have an Arduino, a boost converter and some transistors to control the RGB LED and the LED will slide through this slot and it also has these components which acts like springs which holds the acrylic sheet tightly and this slides in and out so that it can be the electronics can be easily accessed and this hole is for the power supply after all the three parts are printed you can super glue these two parts together and then now we can start with the electronics. This is the LED strip which will be used inside the stand. So how it works is that each one of these would have three LEDs inside them. One is green, one is red and one is blue. Depending on which one of them you give power to, you will get a different color. This is the circuit diagram, 12 volts from the power supply is connected to the ground and V-in pin of the Arduino Nano and the V-in pin is connected to an onboard regulator inside the Arduino which converts the 12 volts into 5 volts which it can later use. The 12 volts is also connected to the RGB LEDs and there are 3 transistors and they are connected to the Arduino via 4.7 kilo ohm resistors. Uh, the base is connected to the PWM pins of the Arduino Nano so that the brightness of each of the LEDs can be varied. The collector is connected to the uh, LEDs and the emitter is connected to the negative part of the power supply. Now I am going to solder all the components together. And while soldering, always make sure that you use a fume extractor so that you don't breathe the smoke. The smoke is pulled by the fan. So this is the final circuit. 12 volts comes in through here and these two wires connect to here which powers the whole circuit and I have also added a capacitive touch sensor so that by touching it I can, I can change the modes. This is the Arduino and these are the three transistors with their resistors and this is the output. This is the Arduino code. I start off by defining the pins of the RGB LED. So the red is connected to the 11th pin of the Arduino, the digital pin. Green is to the 10th and blue is to the 9th. And in the void setup, I define the uh, pin of the capacitive touch sensor, which is connected to digital pin 3. And in the loop, if the capacitive touch sensor is not sensed, then uh, this fading sequence happens. This is when the red fades from 0 to 255 and then back to 0 and then the blue also does the same and then the green. So after that in the else, else means if the capacitive touch sensor is touched then the red, uh, first the red is set to high after 30 milliseconds the green and after 30 the blue. So by this you can create any number of uh, sequences when the capacitive touch sensor is touched. After uploading the code, assemble all the components and solder 4 wires to the RGB LED and connect it to the circuit. Then you can take the engraved acrylic sheet and slide it from this side and push it down. So these act like springs and hold the acrylic sheet tightly. And then here you should connect a 9 volt or a 12 volt power supply for the power.
and then just turn on the power and then I have placed the capacitive touch sensor here so when I push that the next sequence starts if I press it again it comes back to the original one